me Catherine or as some of you know me as Kate or Katie or even Kat. I am here and I wanted to have Amura join me a little bit today. So he is here relaxing in bed. He's getting his spa emphasis on the paw spa day. So tomorrow. So he he knows it's going. <laughs> he actually likes going to the spa because the girl that works on him, uh, she has, her son has a husky, so she really knows what she's doing. And she makes him look so beautiful. So we'll have to do, this is before, and then tomorrow I'll have to do another YouTube so you can see the after. Right now, oh, he's always gorgeous. You know what? He's just always gorgeous. He really is. And he... I should add was something that I wished for a long time ago when I was a little girl and I know I told that story on here already I kind of wanted to have him here with me so you can see that yes I do in fact have this beautiful husky and he is wonderful he's awesome okay right now uh, it's the day before the new moon <sighs> Let me tell you, those energies are flying around. <laughs> in a good way. They are in a good way. Um, we're in a Virgo right now. And Virgo is a very earthy energy. So Virgos, um, I don't know. My Virgo friends are generally have OCDs to a certain extent. Sorry. But they do. Not all of them um, are Virgos. Some of my OCD friends but that's okay, I love my OCD friends because when they come over, they, you know, will help me clean a little bit, so that's really cool. Um, and, it, you know, don't take advantage of your friends and make people clean for you. That's why I'm gonna talk about the new moon coming in, is because with earthy energy is also practical energy, sensible energy, organized energy, earthy energy. What comes out of the earth? What grows? Like trees and plants and fruits and vegetables. And did you know the best things to eat for yourself are those fruits and vegetables that grow above the surface of the earth? I'm not gonna say that all vegetables that grow underneath the earth are bad, but they do have a lot of starches in them. And I found for myself, after giving up the starches, that I feel so much better. Um, I do have spine issues and back problems because I've sustained a lot of injuries to my back and my spine throughout my life. I'm not going to go into a whole long list of what's happened to me. Don't worry. <laughs> it all started with my mom dropping me on my head. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She never dropped me on my head. I don't think. Um, anyway, without organized energy, if you want to bring it into your life, this is why I'm holding this. It's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Nah. Get yourself a notebook. You can either use something like this or you can get yourself a pretty three ring binder. It doesn't need to necessarily be pretty, but I want, I think you need to have a certain kind of connection with the um, journal that you're working with. You can get, um, there's some really cool uh, journals out there now that, you know, they have owls on them and all sorts of pretty decorations on them and you can decorate it however you want to if you want to put stickers on it that's perfectly fine um actually a really cool thing to do with this new moon is to write down your new moon wishes Me don't make it any more than 10 though so if you have a wish that's kind of say complicated in a way try to make it simple so break down your wish so for example you could write down i want financial security and stability right you can write that down as one wish or you can write that down as two wishes i want financial stability i want a financial security i want you know some people would say it's being in a want energy instead of 
being in an energy of having. However, I do want to make a certain point. And where did I put that notebook board? Here it is. At the very top of this, you're going to write, I'm so grateful and thankful for all of the wonderful things that I've manifested in my life. I now manifest this or something better into my life for my highest good and for the highest good of all concerned. Okay, so you're not just thinking about yourself. I, I, I have friends that are light workers and they don't just write down things for themselves. They are thinking about the world. They are thinking about, you know, what we need. We need empathy and kindness and love and understanding in this world because there's not a lot of it. I mean, if you turn on the news, I, I, don't, I don't know if you're like me, but I can't take a lot of the news because it's been so not necessarily frightening, but it's it makes me really sad and I start just crying because I mean the protesters have a right to protest but they don't have a right to get in the way of an ambulance trying to get to a hospital that's I'm not I'm not gonna go off on a whole huge thing right now but I'm just gonna say that um, I mean since we're in the Virgo energy Amor is reminding me to be grounded. See, he's, he's wonderful. He's my therapy dog. He came to me in the perfect time in my life. He is dear, I love him so much. He's so good. <laughs> um, he's actually my therapy dog. Not like officially, but when I first got him, he loved turning around and running around all over the place. And I started having a panic attack. And you know what he did? He came running right back to me and he lay down on my feet. So I was able to put the, um, the clip on to his collar and take him back in the house. Is that amazing? I think it's pretty amazing. It's really cool. I think he's going to do my hair for me. <laughs> it ends up looking a little funky if he does my hair. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> okay. So, um, so for example, you know, here, uh, I'm writing down, I want to be financially stable and secure, right? And you know what I wrote down here, which is really funny. I want to be creative and hilarious. You know, more and more people are calling me creative and hilarious. Huh? Some really cool stuff in here that I wrote down that has actually happened. I want to have plenty of money. You know, it's that idea of really bringing into your life what you really need for yourself. And before you actually, you know, sit down and do all of this, get yourself into a good place. No, don't don't do this out of oh my gosh I need money that's such a great idea I'm gonna start writing down all my new moon wishes it's all gonna be about money right do this from a place of being centered and calm um, you know clean up your space a little bit you could light a candle if you have a candle if you have some incense you could light some incense if you have some um, perfume that you really like something earthy, maybe a vanilla or a sandalwood or oud oil. Um, I don't really use it very much, but I have, because I don't like using products that are tested on animals in any way. I mean, you could even make your own mix. I'm starting to make my own mixes. So eventually once I've gotten them all tested out and my friends are saying this one's better than this one and you know, get the formulations done and everything, I will start a little shop here. Um, because I really, really like the combination of oud and uh, sandalwood, oud and cedarwood. It's those earthy scents. For some reason, I really, really like the earthy scents or food like vanilla, cloves, cinnamon, you know, these are very, very earthy scents. So any of these kind of scents, even if you just have cinnamon sticks, you could just light a cinnamon stick, cinnamon, I'm trying to say that five times fast, but put it in a fire safe bowl. You know, it just, it'll bring 
beautiful scent into the air and it will change your mindset to a certain degree. Um, and so when you're making your wishes, you can actually call on your ancestors. You can call on your guides. You can call on your heavenly guides. Because if you, I will, uh, uh, one other note, if you call, you're honestly always calling on your ancestors and you know that some of those ancestors were really, really bad with money. Are you sure you really wanna ask them? Nah. You may wanna be specific. Um, for example, tomorrow night, I think I'm going to actually see if I can get my, my father's father to be here with me because he was very, very good with finances. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to start working with being specific with mine and see if that works. Or you can ask for heavenly angels that are the best in organizing finances. Please be with me this evening. Please protect me. Please help me in making these wishes come true, right? So, you know, some of mine are a little out there, but no. <laughs> Those have not happened. <laughs> but you can also do something kind of cool, and that is to go through a magazine, and you can start writing stuff down. Or you can, you know, paste it on, glue it on, um, you know, the word lucky. I thought I was going to be homeless when the house that I was in before sold. I honestly wasn't sure what was going to happen and then ended up finding a really cool spot to be in. It's safe. It's nice. I love all my neighbors. They're hilarious and fun. And, and we're just them all better than I am, but that's a different discussion for another day. Right, buddy? So when you're writing things down and when you're looking through the magazine, you know, cut out words that you really, really resonate with. Not necessarily something material that you really, really want, although it does work. And don't put down pictures of people. You can't focus on just one person. It's sort of like something that I want to talk about with photography and I'm going to do that a little bit with this. Um, channel coming up soon is uh, some photography since I have studied photography and I've done photography for eh, more than 15 years now. Ooh, we're coming up on decades. Ooh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mind blown. So I used to take photos of the kind of cameras and lenses that I love because I'm that kind of nerd and I would put it on boards and things and I ended up actually manifesting those into my life. So it's kind of a cool idea to do that. So, you know, I wanted, you know, it's funny because years ago in 2014, I saw this CRV and it was really sharp and I thought, well, that's really cool. I'd love to have that. And I ended up putting it on one of my boards and um, last year, my mom and I were looking for another car for me because my other one was slightly going kaput. And um, in the lot, there was this white CRV that looked like an Outback. And I, I originally wanted to get an Outback to replace the other car that I had. Um, I was driving, it wasn't the safest car in the world. And when I looked, you know, it's this Honda CRV and it looks like an Outback, the kind that I really wanted to have. But then I remembered 2014, I saw this CRV and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this car. And I'm driving it around, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I think this is the one, you know. It's <laughs> sort of like when you meet the right person, I guess, oh my gosh, this is the right one. I feel really comfortable. Everything's cool. Uh, yeah, wow. You know, the con there's that console on the side there. That can My purse actually fits on it. Huh but I'm starting to use a smaller purse. If I were using my old hobo bag, it would never fit in. And now and that's something that I wanna, that's another day maybe, but um, maybe you can start to, women, where are we supposed to put our purses? We were just, I was just talking about that with friends the other day. You either put it in the back seat of someone sitting next to you or you put it in the seat right next to you, but then you can't have someone sit there. It depends on how big your purse is. I think those things need to be the right kind of size so you can have your purse there, 
right? Yes. Are you with me on this? <laughs> hit the like button if you're with me on this. You subscribe while you're at it. You can also hit the little bell icon to let you know whenever I'm gonna make a new video. Right, baby? You're just not gonna see me. You're gonna see this cute boy. Yes, he's a boy. His name is Amour, by the way. Yeah. Silly dog. He's such a goofball. <laughs> He's very dramatic in case you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, you comfortable? Hey, Zoe. Oh, He's so funny. Okay, so sorry we digressed a little bit. So, when you're making your wishes tomorrow, have fun with it. Um, maybe you'll be like me and you'll write down, I want to be organized. I want my closets to be organized. I want, you know, it's not necessarily gonna be in a want energy because you're letting the universe know what exactly you want to bring into your life. If you just say, I have, it's gonna assume that you already have it. You need to be able to let the universe know, this is what I want, this is what I need. Please assist me with this. You can even write that in the very top of this. You know, there is no one specific way to do this. So, but you can put a picture of um, your belief system on there, whether it's a cross, whether it's an onk, whether it's an om symbol, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, my ethnicity has been questioned quite often. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a white girl, right? Yeah, unless I get really, really dark. Some people have thought that I'm a Safa and start speaking to me in another language that I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, that's that's a whole different thing for a whole different day. <laughs> so, you know, go from your source energy. Use your root chakra to um, meditate on and find out what it needs. If if you're like me and you've gone through some trauma in your life and maybe your root chakra has been traumatized, heal that energy with those grounding earthy scents of foods that have grown out of the earth. So not necessarily a pizza, okay guys? We're, we're talking about actual tomatoes, actual um, you know, avocados, celery, uh, fruits that are the best are going to be your raspberries and your strawberries and your blackberries and your blueberries. Think of all of the foods that I haven't thought of that see the sun, you know, so it's not necessarily all those starches that grow beneath the earth. And just remember, you know, certain things like corn, as much as I love corn, that is a starch. So, you know, just be mindful of the fruits and the vegetables that you're eating. And I'm vegan, so I'm not gonna tell all of you to be vegan because not everyone can be. But you know what? In the morning now, I have like, it's almost like making my own granola. It's like pecans and almonds and walnuts and pistachios. Walnuts are so good for you. You know, so stock up on, don't take all the walnuts that I want, but you can take as many walnuts as, you know, they're it's so full of good fats for you. So we're not talking about a McDonald's kind of fat. We're talking about the fats that are coming from the nuts themselves. So I do want to mention that I have been working with a wonderful young lady who's been helping me to uh, get everything on track nutritionally. I don't know if you can notice, I'm actually noticing it. My arms look thinner. I've lost 20 pounds working with this gal. Um, and my life has just changed so much for the better. I'm feeling so much healthier. <sighs> yeah, it's a good thing. And you know, these things are, you know, natural and they're good for you. So I want people to be healthy 
and we want people to be happy, right? And what do we want them to do when we're? Raise your vibration so you can be the best you you can be, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.